All right, folks, looking at the Springfield Square camera here in downtown. You can see a big puddle lift over on the square from time to time. We had the big heavy rain come through just moments ago and a lot of thunder and lightning with it. Maybe some small hail being reported across the area. Piece sized to maybe up to dime sized hail has been seen so far at the largest, and that's just about it. But uh, the rain right now is largely ended in Springfield. We're not going to be done for the day by any means. We'll see another wave of rainfall come on through as the morning progresses. Right now, looking at radar, we can see kind of the main cluster of it north of I-44, maybe off to the west a little bit around I-49, and another little cluster down towards Arkansas. Looking farther north, we got rain moving into Camden, some thunder and lightning, maybe to Osage Beach area and Lake Ozark and Eldon for sales. So again, some heavier rainfall pockets out of this. And it's heavy rain, folks, out of this. will be a little bit of lightning, a little bit of thunder, maybe some small hail, and that would be generally just about it. None of this is severe. There certainly is the potential for it to become stronger, but again, that'd be marginally so, and that impact is fairly low for the time being. Heavy rain being the main thing out there today. 53 degrees right now in Springfield, 49 in Ava, so it is fairly mild out the door this morning. Not bad, all right? We're going to see the rain continue in that cluster north of I-44 blow on through for the morning hours. And then looking off to the west again, boundary moves on in. Some rain showers and storms develop along that, and it'll move on to the area as we go to the mid-morning into the midday hours. More rain, light to moderate to at times heavy. Yes, for the daytime today, still off and on as we go into this evening. And another round of rain moves in from the south as we go into the overnight tonight. Now, Friday morning, you might catch a little bit of a break from the rain. There'll still be some spotty showers lingering around here and there for Friday morning, but I think mostly we could catch a time of some dryness out there in the beginning of Friday afternoon. Cold front drops into the area, kicking up an additional round of showers and yes, a few thunderstorms Friday late afternoon into the evening, wrapping up Friday night, and that will be our last round of rain showers until we get to the weekend. So rainfall through Friday morning. We'll see again some heavier pockets here and there. Could see up to an inch, maybe two inches for today. Tack on Friday night with the cold front. Could see an additional one to two inches. So all said and done, a good wide range of one inches to three inches is possible. Some more, some less before we go into the weekend. For the weekend itself, we're going to be cooler. Okay, 50 degrees behind that cold front for Friday. 28 degrees Saturday night and a nicer day Sunday. Sunshine coming out more in abundance on your Sunday. So for today, kind of a soggy day outside. Temperatures around 60 degrees for tonight. Low 50s, more rain moves on in. And then the cold front moves through for tomorrow afternoon. Dry tomorrow morning, mostly. Then more rain showers and storms along that front as we go into Friday evening. So for tomorrow night, could see a stronger storm, possibly severe, mainly a hail risk the farther south where you go. For Saturday, we're sunny, becoming sunny. Temperatures a little cooler, though, around 50 degrees. And that's for today. Any storms for this morning could see a little hail and wind risk off to the west, and that's just about it. We spring forward, lose an hour of sleep Saturday night to Sunday morning. Next week, we're back to warm weather, upper 60s and 70s on the way. All right, Tom, thanks.